He's going to bring our first guest. I'd like to bring from the mayor's office, Miss Veronica Butler.
join them from the very depths of my heart from all across the District of Columbia and wishing you a very happy 92nd birthday and many more to come. Once again, congratulations from Councilwoman Muriel Bowser. sent a proclamation and by the authority given to me by the chair of our deacon board I would like to bring forth a special guest from the minister's conference the Reverend Charles Rowley.
and may heaven continue to smile down upon you. In his service, Reverend Donald K. Sadler, President, Missionary Baptist Ministry Conference of D.C. and Vicinity. stand up and uh, sing happy birthday to our pastor. Good morning, 
church. Good morning. I'm asking the following members to join us. Uh, Ethan Morton, uh, my beautiful wife, um, Diane. I'm going to ask Gen Geneva and the other members who usually sing with this group here. If you could join us, please join us up here. If, you, if you're here. Uh, mask wild. Yeah. Male chorus, whoever members are here, please join us. Appreciate that. Thank you. Amen. That's all right. Amen.
now, but, uh, but first I want to, uh, well, words can I express how I'm, how I'm feeling right now. You know, usually you don't put nothing over on me here, Mount Zion. Uh, I usually know what, I usually hear something about the grapevine. Yeah, it's all right, y'all. Uh, I feel like the fox today. <laughs> but I do want to uh, thank uh, all that was involved in what has taken place thus far. And, uh, you know, it's easy to pass this church like Mount Zion. Uh, that's why I... I go to bed and I can sleep good because of your dedication, your commitment, and, and I said it's because of the love you have for your pastor. Yeah. I don't Amen. have to worry about somebody trying to do something behind my back. Amen. And uh, we come here to praise God and give Him the glory. Amen. Now everything that has been given to me is for you. I mean, my name is on it, but it's for the Mount Zion Baptist Church. Because without you, I am nothing. I want you to know that. And I do love all of y'all for what you've done. But remember that whenever <coughs> something given to the pastor is for the entire church. Because if you was not what you are, I would not be receiving what I'm receiving today. Amen. It would be impossible. Amen. So I want to thank the Mount Zion Baptist Church and all for the wonderful things you've done here. And I want to thank the music department for singing my favorite song. All of us. I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed, uh, but you know, I, I can say so much, but uh, we do want to hear from the Lord today, but first you know we are a praying church, right? And uh, we ask, God has given us the second card of the 714, two or three years ago, about three years ago. Then I did not know why, but today I know why with the condition that the world is in. And we ask you to pray, not just on the Sunday morning, but 24-7, because we need a prayer. All, everyone present there from whatever office you are represented, we thank God for the, for the mayor, for the Lord for Councilman, and for the Minister of Comfort. Thank you, Pastor Riley, for coming. Because Pastor Riley, I've been a friend for a long time. Uh, we still have some at the conference that do not go down the plate. We go there for business, so we thank God for that. And I want to thank the ministerial staff for being present here today. And we thank all of you. I, 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 of course, you'll get a holy kiss for you, even today. Don't worry about it. I'll get a chance to kiss everybody. But I do want to thank that uh, uh, we have a church going on downstairs, the youth church. We have everybody 20 years old downstairs. They grew up and down there now being taught how the act wants to come up here in the sanctuary. So our youth church, pray for them. We, we might see some of them before we leave here today. But right now, uh, it's praying time. I say it's praying time. Amen. So may we stand to